Hello everybody, it is D.L. White here. I had to think really quick for a second what my name was, because I have different names. It's weird, but I have a different YouTube channel, and on that channel I'm the Kirby Jones. But that channel is strictly weight loss, so I didn't want to mix and mingle my channel. Um, people in the book world know me as D.L. White, and uh, so I had to quick... I was about to say the Kirby Jones, but I had to quick change DL Flight. If you call me DL in public, I will not answer to it because I'm not used to being called that. I'm, I'm only that in paper, apparently. You can call me Dom if we ever meet in person because I will answer to that. I won't realize you're talking to me if you call me DL. Anyhow, this is the inaugural video for my new channel. Um, I just wanted to get a video up to throw out an introduction and tell people a little about me and books and my hopes and dreams and desires. Not really, because I don't really know what those are. But um, I was hoping to just get a video up and say hey and maybe get some subscribers so I can have one of those fancy uh, personalized channel addresses that YouTube only hands out to people with like 15 subscribers. So. If you're watching this video and you're interested in hearing more, please subscribe. Um, if you have any questions about anything I'm going to talk about today or anything I might talk about in the future, shout me a holla in the um, questions down below and um, I'll be sure to uh, get right to it. Um, so as I said, my name is D.L. White. I am an author of contemporary women's fiction. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've lived here since... 2003. I uh, like it here in the South. I did not realize that it gets cold here. Today it was 30 degrees and I know it's like negative 700 in Chicago, but um, it's supposed to be warm here and it's not. I shouldn't have to scrape my windshield in Atlanta. So that's what that's about. Um, I am an Air Force, uh, Air Force brat. My dad did 20 years in the Air Force, and he retired at Fairchild Air Force Base in Spokane, Washington. Um, nowhere near Seattle, the other side of the state. Um, so he, they retired there. They bought a house there. We lived there forever and ever until I moved to Atlanta in 2003. Uh, I work at Coca-Cola, for those who don't know. It is a fantastic job. Uh, it has changed my life quite literally has changed my life. I love it. My other job is an author where sometimes I write naughty things. But mostly I write uh, women's fiction, which is stories about women and the people who love them, their lives, um, their loves, their ups, their downs, um, sometimes funny, sometimes dramatic, sometimes cute. Um, I just like to write uh, really warm stories about women who are doing the dang thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I get really silly when I'm nervous, so it's that. I'm generally very silly anyway. So. Um, I wanted to do an intro video today because I put my books on sale, and so I wanted to let you know about them and how you can get your hands on them for a very reduced price. Um, but first, let me talk about me some more. I have been a writer all my life. Um, I was that kid that was like making stories out of my spelling words because I thought that was fun and it really punched up the assignment. And my mom was like, wow, you're really good at this. And I was like, I pleased her. So I just kept doing it and people kept liking my writing. So I kept doing it and I got to college and um, writing for pleasure, reading for pleasure as well sort of fell by the wayside. I would normally devour, you know, six or seven books a week and, you know, just write my little tail off. Um, but then I got to college and coursework sort of took the place of that and I took a long break from reading and writing and I came back to it. A few years ago, um, my brother died in a car accident and um, I needed an outlet, I needed something to grab onto and some place to emote and a place to put my feelings. And um, so I started writing and 
I started writing fan fiction, in sync fan fiction. I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not. I'm not ashamed at all. Um, I only ever wrote JC, and fan fiction is heavily romantic, so I was writing basically um, romance with the same character over and over. And I did that for a couple of years, but I got tired of writing the same person over and over, and I, I wanted to expand my palette, and I had a, an idea for a novel that was inspired by my brunch group about three women who um, meet for brunch monthly at this place called um, Ruby's Soul Food Cafe. If you have ever been to Atlanta, um, there's a place called Bee's Cafe, and Ruby's is very loosely um, based on, on bees. There's a lot of embellishment, but um, that was the business that I built Ruby's out, out of. Um, and um, the book is just basically about three women from different walks of life, but they've been friends since they were children, and how their friendship survives the trials of life, whether it's love or family or work or um, the interpersonal relationships between those three women, kind of how, um, how they survive. There's some, there's some drama, there's some cat fights, there's some sappy moments, there's romance. Um, two of the characters actually, um, two of the characters actually have a love story and one has a, a rekindling story. So it's my baby. I just absolutely love it. I started writing it in 2011, but um, at the time the story was good, but I wasn't ready to write it. The writing was just really weak. I hadn't studied the craft of writing. I didn't know anything about plotting and I didn't know you know how to get from here to here I had eight chapters and then I was like I don't know what comes next I didn't know how to go from act one to act two to act three to act four I had three main characters and a big long book to write and I was just intimidated so I gave it a rest for a while and kept writing and entered some contests and got some feedback um and excuse me at a certain point, I felt like I was ready to start writing that book again, and I had decided the summer before my 40th birthday that this book was going to be finished. I didn't care if it was the biggest pile of crap ever. I didn't care if it was terribly awful. I was going to finish it by my 40th birthday. And I was going to print a copy for me and my mom, and I was going to put it away because this book would not leave me alone. I tried to stop writing it twice. It was literally wake me up at three in the morning with idea, idea, idea. But I don't, I don't know how to write that. What, what, help me. I don't know how to write that. Um, so I said, I'm, I am just going to sit down and write this book. So I finished it by my 40th birthday. I um, let it sit for a while, and then I went through a couple of rounds of edits and some beta reads and some edits and some advice, and I decided I was going to query it. So I did some research, and I picked out books that sounded like Brunch at Ruby's, and um, I approached some agents, mostly of color, that repped books that were like my book. And pretty quickly, I got the, not for me, but keep trying. Um, I think I queried probably less than 10 agents, fewer than 10 agents over the course of a few months. And I had already been introduced to the world of self-publishing, and that was looking more and more enticing to me. So I decided, well, I'm just going to edit the crap out of this book and put it out and at least if I put it out, it'll be out the way I want it to be out. I don't have to change the tense. I don't have to change the point of view. I don't have to edit this out because it makes it too long or, um, you know, this doesn't make sense. I ended up cutting a lot out of this book, almost 20,000 words. I cut out a bunch of rubies just to make it a reasonable length. Um, it does have three main characters in it, though. Um, so... I finished editing it in early March 2015, and it came out March 25th, 2015, my 41st birthday. So 
it came out to um, great reviews, and it's still my, my most favorite book ever. And I followed that up with subsequent releases, some things I had pre-written and uh, some things uh, I wrote fresh. Um, but I wanted to tell you about my books because uh, they, I put them on sale today from now through, I think for the next seven days, I will be at a severely reduced price. So Brunch at Ruby's is my debut. It's about Deborah, Maxine, and Renee. They are three ladies that live in Atlanta. They've known each other since they were children. These women are not white, I'm telling you. Don't email me asking me why the characters on the front of the book are white, because they're not. Use your imagination. Yeah. Um, Brunch at Ruby's. Um, I really like this book. I, I think it's great. I'll let you judge. It's 99 cents, the Kindle version. If you want a paperback version, hit me up. Uh, don't buy it from Amazon because it's too expensive there. They definitely uh, bumped up the price so they could get their cut. Um, my prices at lulu.com are better, and so is my royalty. So Brunch Out Rubies, that's a women's fiction with romantic elements set in Atlanta, Georgia. Same time next week, this book has a new cover, so look for it with a new cover. D.L. White, same time next week. This book was previously fan fiction. I rewrote it into an interracial romance, and there's a lot of sex in it. A lot of naughty times. So I made it an erotic romance so that people who were looking for that could find it. This book is about a music producer who is kind of looking for his next big thing. He kind of feels useless and whatever. He moves back to Orlando to work with... Um, a former friend of his who's like king rock star, like what's the dude from Maroon 5, Adam Levine-ish. Um, so he moves to Orlando to work with this Adam Levine-ish kind of dude, and he meets this woman in a grocery store in the middle of the night. Shelby is a very cagey, mysterious woman, but she's beautiful and sexy and intriguing, and he can't help himself, um, but he can't crack her tough exterior and he's trying to get to know her and um, way too late someone from her past comes back to life and then he's sort of involved in this big um, dramatic situation that he has inserted himself and now he has to help her get out of. so that same time next week this book is 99 cents at um, kindle and again, these are also at lulu.com. All my books are under $10 at lulu.com. Um, don't buy them from Amazon because they're too expensive. But um, if you need a link, hit me up. I'll be happy to share it. My third book is called The Thin Line. And this book came out in January of 2015. Um, this is a black romance, and the characters are really bougie. And... Um, Kind of spoiled. I won't say entitled, but there's a there's a lot going on with them. Um, Angie and Preston were high school sweethearts and absolutely in love until uh, Preston did something that Angie just could not forgive. And over the course of nearly two decades, have just been picking and fighting at each other and denying the fact that they really, honestly, still care for each other. Well, their best friends are um, sick of it. You know, sometimes you write a book and you forget details like characters' names. And I was looking at the blurb to see if I could remember the characters' names. Nick and Morgan, I think, are their best friends. And they are dating and finally getting married after dating for forever. And they want Angie and Preston to plan their destination wedding. The only problem is Angie and Preston don't get along. So it's going to be like wedding wrestling mania. Um, so the two are forced to carry out all of the tasks of putting on a joyful, romantic, happy occasion and not kill each other in the process. This book was a lot of fun to write. Um, and this book is... Uh, $1.99 is normally $3.99 because um, it's one of my newer books and it's like 90,000 words, so it's a little lengthy. Um, I like this book. A lot of people like this book. Don't email me that you don't like Angie because I know, because I wrote her that way. And so you just read this book and enjoy it, okay? 
And on my last uh, book, my most recent release, this came out in September, it's called Beach Thing. It is about a gal named Amina Porter who um, leaves the family business to fulfill her dream of opening up a smoothie shop on a little man-made island off the coast of Texas. It's man-made, Black Diamond doesn't really exist, don't email me asking me where it is. And she meets a gentleman named Wade, who is a hip-hop producer, and his best friend is, like, um, the hottest dude in the game, you know what I'm saying? But Wade's been really distracted because his dad just got out of prison, and he's trying to wiggle his way into his life, and it's really affecting his work. So Wade is on Black Diamond to work, but he can't stay away from the smoothie shop where the hottie is hanging out. And y'all know what happens. But the thing is that Wade is going back to Brooklyn at the end of the summer, and Amina lives on Black Diamond. So at the end of the summer, what are they going to do? I don't know. You got to read it and find out. That is Beach Thing, and this book is 99 cents. So thank you for sitting through that spiel. Those are my books. I hope something I said enticed you. They are on sale for the next couple days. The ones that are 99 cents are probably going up in a couple days. So I'd grab them today. Again, those are the Kindle versions. If you want the paperback versions, I can certainly help you out with that. Just let me know or go to lulu.com, L-U-L-U.com, and search DL White, and my books will pop up. Um, and they are all under $10 there. So I'm going to have another video posting that's sort of a get-to-know-you kind of thing. It's like where people answer questions, and I like talking about so I don't want to make this video any longer, though. I just wanted to say hey and introduce myself. Um, in the future, I hope to be posting more about my goals and plans and books I'm going to be um, publishing and books I'm reading and stuff about writing. Um, so this should be fun, and I hope that you um, enjoy and agree and subscribe. Um, so I'll see you in a little bit and talk to you soon.